much for your care. Thank you so very much for all that you do and continue to do. We are forever grateful. We are forever thankful. Daddy, we say thank you. Thank you so very much for our nation, Nigeria. Thank you for how you are keeping our nation. Thank you for all that you do and continue to do for our nation. Thank you for preservation. Thank you, Thank you for watching over us. We give you Thank glory. you for not allowing the expectations of the enemy to come to pass concerning our nation. We give you Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Thank you for maintaining the peace. Thank you, you for provision. Thank you because you. indeed there shall be abundance in the you. mighty name of Jesus Blessed Christ. You, you have promised us there shall be abundance and in so shall it be. Yeah, we shall some blessings. This is the promise of God. There is seasons refreshing, sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessings, oh yes. Showers of blessings will give. Mercy, love, and us are for only. But for the showers we receive, we receive showers of blessing for ourselves and for our nation, Nigeria, in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For nations all over the world, we stand as intercessors to say that as many countries that are hungry, as many countries that are going through lack, through want, as many countries where there is so much suffering. <laughs> Father, we ask for divine intervention. As we pray for Nigeria, we use Israel to pray for the Middle East, to pray for Ukraine, to pray for Yemen, to pray for everywhere that there is strife, that there is war. Father, perfect that which you have started in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for that which you do and continue to do to the glory and praise of your name alone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, thank you. We'll if, we, you glory, if we have we'll a million times to come before your it's presence, for you, all we will Jesus. say is thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you over and Father. over again. Thank you, Receive our praise Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Welcome to Church on the Air. Jordan 93.9 FM. Your voice and my voice. The voice of the people and the very, very special voice of God. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Overseer of Band of Love Ministries International. It is a great honor and a very great privilege for me to come speak with you again this afternoon. Thank you so very much for being there. Thank you for making Jordan 93.9 FM your number one radio station. Thank you for keeping faith. Thank you for, for listening and tuning in. Thank you so very much. The studio line to call 090-2420-4415. That's for your adverts. Jordan 93.9 FM is a far reaching station. Bring your adverts to 090-2420-4415. And this program is subject to your sponsorship. We don't take an offering, but you can send an offering to that number 090 2420 tell them you want to sponsor the program you want to be a part of it nothing is too much nothing is too small and they will show you what to do they will tell you they'll give you an account number 090 2420 is the marketing line for jordan 93.9 fm your number one radio station Welcome once again to Church on the Air, Jordan 93.9 FM. I would always say to you that it is a great honor and a great privilege for us to speak to you. We do not take each encounter for granted. We take our assignment very, very seriously in the place of prayer and the word, and we are forever grateful. Thank you so very much for being there. We also want to say thank you to Jordan for opening the doors of the gospel to bless you. Like we said to you earlier in one of our programs this uh, month, 
Jordan does not only want to collect your money for adverts, they are also interested in your spiritual well-being. Jordan is also interested in encouraging you, in strengthening you, in, in, in contributing her own quarter to your progress and to that of the nation of the world. We say thank you once more. This segment is a very special one. What makes it special is we are here to say to you that there is abundance. Amen. There is an abundance. In Jesus name. And somebody will say, what are you talking about? Are you not hearing the news? Are you not hearing that in some areas there is riot? Oh, yeah, are you not hearing that um, they are attacking if any um, um, trailer is passing? Of food, <laughs> people are there waiting to relay it we are and hearing. to pack the food. Are you not hearing? <laughs> we are hearing. God is aware. We are hearing. God, God is aware. aware. Mm. But we are saying to you that those are all control. signs to show that there is an abundance. Mm. God is still in control. There is an abundance. Hallelujah. Nigeria is a blessed nation. Hallelujah. We are blessed with great wealth. Hallelujah. Good weather. Hallelujah. Good land. Hallelujah. Good people. Mm. Hallelujah. I was listening to a clip. Not this week. I didn't listen to it all, but it was talking about how Nigerians are very, very special people. How they are very intelligent. Yes. How all over the world, they are top of their class. Is there anybody that gets third class in Nigeria? If you go abroad, the person will get first class. Excellent. Hallelujah. Excellent. Mm. Talking about how resilient we are. Mm. We are a blessed people. So don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Mm. Don't let the temporary discomfort you are feeling tell you otherwise. Nigeria is a great nation. Yes. Nigeria is blessed. There is abundance in this nation. Hallelujah. When you declare it so, it shall be so for you. Amen. As it is it for is me, so and it is, it is for you. In the mighty name of There's Jesus Christ. I first an of all want to apologize for those of you I'm yet to reach. Last week I put out my number there. I wanted to cancel a young man who said he wants to work, but he couldn't raise the fees for the work and he didn't have accommodation a lot of things i wanted to talk to that young man and i put my number out before i could leave the studio before i can even get home i had over 20 calls some that text were asking for help please mommy i need money uh, please mommy i'm sick i need help i need this i need that I want to first of all say that I'm sorry that I've not been able to respond to every one of you because I've had a very busy week and I'm still very busy, but by God's grace, I will get back to every one of you. But I want to say here that, you see, depending on anybody, at this point in time, it's not the best. What am I trying to say? Inside of you, you can make it. Inside of me, I can make it. There is an abundance locked up in you, locked up in me. Refuse to be moved by the negative news. Refuse to be moved by the negative events and circumstances around you. Stay ruggedly focused. When God made you, your, he gave you hands, he gave you legs. He gave you in your brain. We are told that when we die, we have not even used even one of the, the wealth of our brain. 1%, we've not even used it. What am I trying to say? In this time when men say there is a casting down, there is we hunger, there is, a, there is no food, there is no this, there is no that, I'm saying to you that you can make it. Amen. I'm saying to you that you can make it. I'm saying Jesus. to you that look inwards. The starting point, first of all, is in Christ Jesus. Yes. Matthew 16, 33 says, Seek ye for the kingdom, the kingdom of, God, of God and his righteousness, righteousness and everything every else will be added unto added. you. Everything else will be added unto you. When you see Christ Jesus, everything you need, everything you want will be added, given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. But if you say you want to put your hope in man, the Bible says that woe to him, woe to him that puts his hope in man, then we fail you. Even if your father is a president, don't put your hope there. The senior president is your brother, is your uncle, is your this. No, we are saying remove your eyes from anybody. 
accept Christ Jesus and look up to him. Tell him, God, what do you want me to do? When you accept Christ Jesus, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit begins to reside inside of you. And as you give the Holy Spirit chance, he will begin to lead you. He will begin to direct you. He will begin to show you wells untold, untapped, that you, before you know it, you become an employer of labor. In this economy, is what I am telling you, you begin to employ people. You begin to give. You begin to help people. And those of you that are out there, robbing, uh, you see trailer going, you just put tires and bush and begin to pack rice. How how long will that rice? How long will that rice last? The rice you pack. Or you will lay a truck of yam and you pack the yam. Ask yourself this simple question. How long will it last? Eat it forever. Is it it's not better? Simple. You pray and ask mm -hmm. God to show you the way forward. Then you yourself will be giving out trailers of rice. Yes, so they showed one man that in his village he just carried the rice, carried everything there, and was giving every every villager come mm -hmm. and collect. I think he was giving three, three bags of rice and food. That person does he have ten head? Is it everybody that do the tracking to get money? No. No. Is it everybody that receive government money? No. No. Is there any? Is it everybody that do for one night to get money? No. no. There is genuine yes, money. Yeah. You can be part of those people. You can pray and you say, God help me. So when we begin to do all of these things that bring chaos and anarchy, it is not the best. So it's not the best. Forgive my manners. I ought to have started by saluting your courage, your tenacity, your patience, your wisdom, your <laughs> Tibobo, tibobo, the English word. Your patience, your, your endurance. <laughs> your endurance. <laughs> your so tolerance. Word. You have tried. <laughs> you have to continue so, to try. God uh, is That is where I should have started. We could not back, so. That's why I'm going to say, don't come, don't come, don't come. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying. You don't know what God is saying. God, God understands. God understands. Yeah, I know what will happen. So, I want to first of all salute your courage. Salute your tenacity. Salute your patience. And to say that, let us continue. Mm -hmm. Let's press on. Let us not be tired. Let us not give up. Let us not give in. Let us not allow anything to come and carry away those virtues that we already have. Ask me why. You see, when you say you will no more be patient, you will no more be hmm. tolerant, you want to go and protest, you want to be hijacking, uh, you see bright spots, you hijack, you party. no, you are calling for chaos. And I say to you anytime, any day, that in this peaceful state that we are, it is a thing of joy. It is a thing to be grateful for. It is a thing to be thankful for. Why? Because you can go and you can come. But when there is war, when there is anarchy, hmm. the wife will know where the husband is. The husband will know where the wife is. We know where our passion. children we are. Everything will be upside down. Let us Jesus. not go that way. Hmm. Let's refuse <laughs> and say, to, say no to anything that will tamper with this, our patience, tamper hmm. with this, our tolerance. So we already have a capacity to endure. Let us continue. Hmm. Let's not be tired. Let's be willing to cooperate with government. Let's continue to forbear. Let's continue to be disciplined people. Other act of lawlessness is uncalled for. Don't go and break warehouse. Don't go and break air. Already governments have said they want to do some things on our behalf. Yes, government is aware that there are those holding, 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 holding and waiting for the prices to hike. Government is aware and government did not keep quiet. They want to do so about it, let's wait for government to go. Let's not go ourselves. This courage, long suffering attitude, let us continue. Let's continue. Somebody say, Am I going to to to, to suffer till I die? How long do I will I continue to be patient? Mm -mm. The journey is not far again. The answer is not far again. We must give this government a chance. We must be obedient to governmental authorities. We must 
reject every form of uh, insubordination. Instead, let us be subordinate. Let us flow with government. Let's be compliant. Let's be submissive. Let's, Let's be have self-control at all times. Let's conform. All it means is that we must cut down. Cut down. If you, if you if you were eating three square meals before, even though it, they are cutting down, you say, okay, I don't even have at all at all. This more that you have. Take it with thanksgiving and ask God, what can I do? How can I do it? There is something you can do that is out there. So every form of impatience, let's say no. This is not <laughs> My senior pastor would always give a proverb. He said, there's a way you put it in our language, but the bottom line, the translation is, somebody is eating a fish, and he has eaten the head, he has eaten the body. It remains only the tail. <laughs> Pastor Magdalene, he has finished it, you know. Then just when he remains small, to finish, he now begins to complain. Uh, this it's fish bitter. is too much bone. Uh, it's bitter. It's not sweet. It's not, sweet. It's not this. <laughs> so what are we trying to say here? Just a little more. A little, a little a more little patience. patience. Little Let's scatter it. We have endured all these years. Mm. Let's continue to endure. Very Let's soon. continue to the be patient. It will Let's last. continue to pray. None of the problems last forever. are almost there. None of them has come to there. stay. Mm. We are almost there. None of them has come to we stay. Are almost there. None of the pains. None and of so the bitterness. With that we say None of the you. dryness. None of them has come to stay. As the Bible we say, it came to pass. They must surely come to pass. Can you hear about some of that? Because we are now. They must surely come to pass. He say it will surely come to pass. The Bible we say it came to pass, and this must surely come to pass. It will come to pass. Koro came. Has it not? Has it not come and gone? It has gone. It did not come to stay. None of them. None of the challenges has come to stay. They must give way. Just a little patience. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I had to pause for Pastor Magdalene to talk. She was saying these two will come and pass. And like we are saying to you, keep hope alive. Refuse to be intimidated. Refuse to give up. Refuse to allow anything to steal your joy. To steal the peace in our nation. We must preserve the peace. We must do all we can to put our nation in order, we have a part to play. We we'll always point hand to governments. When you do your five finger like this and you point, you say, now you they do us, now you, now you be the problem. Four is on us. And anytime, any day, four is bigger than one. I read Jeremiah 17, five. He said, thus says the Lord, cause be the man that trusted a man and make it flesh his arm. And whose heart is dependent, whose heart is departed from the Lord. God is saying here that let us put our hope in him. Let us put our trust in him. Let us not put all our hope in government. It says government that will do everything for us. Government can do everything. Government can meet every need. But of course, there are basics that government must do. And we join to make an appeal that especially transportation, if the cost of transport can come down, a lot of these crises of things will crash. Then again, Nigerians are not lazy. Hmm. If the forest can be safe, I don't know how big our forest is, but government is already making efforts to clear them. I'll say that let there be more efforts. If there are more efforts and People can go to the farms. The issue of hunger will give way. Again, to my mind, there's talk about uh, state police, state police, state police. I want to agree very much so that if every state is allowed to defend themselves, take care of their territories, their forests, we have a better headway. But of course, whatever government decide to do, we have given them our permission. We have given them our authority to work on our behalf. We believe that whatever they do is in our best interest. So this is not to say that we cannot comment. We cannot uh, put our input. But we are saying that whatsoever we want to do, let's do it according to the norms 
the laws and orders of this our country. And we have defined patience for you, having saluted your courage and your patience. We are saying that let's continue to be patient and let's not put all hope on them. No. God says that when we depart from God and we say it is man, then we have problem. 6 says, For he shall be like the heat in the desert and shall not see when good come. Good is in our land. Good has arrived. Good is knocking. Let us give this good a chance. Let's not remove God from our matter. No. And let's not stop believing in our government. No. He said, Otherwise, when the good is coming, we won't see it. Good is already on the way. But when we become impatient and we begin to destroy, we begin to take lines into our hands, we begin to, to go and uh, break bands, uh, colobi motos, collect food that is not our own, it will not go well. The Bible says that those who do that will inhabit past land in the wilderness. So let's not go that way at all, at all. He said, but blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. There shall be abundance if you put your hope in God. If you allow God to be your stay, if you allow him to be your provider, he will provide for you. He will make a way for you. He will show you what to do that you can be able to feed yourself, feed your family as you cut your cloth according to your, not your size, <laughs> according to your cloth. He says, Jeremiah 17, 8, He shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spread it at her roots by the river. He said, you will not see the heat when it comes. When men say there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting. Your leaf will be green. That means you will not lack, you will not want, you will not hunger. He said, there shall be drought, but you will not feel it. You will not feel it. You will not feel it. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are saying to you here that there shall be an abundance. When we make Christ our focus, when we stay focused on him, when we continue to be patient, when we continue to be the resilient people that we are, when we continue to have hope and stay in God, that abundance will come to pass. I will not talk much on it. If God permits us next week, we will look at how that abundance shall be. But let me just read for you. Um, another verse of scripture that talks about what I'm trying to say, which is um, Kings, Second Kings 7. We see here that there was famine in the land in Israel. No food, nothing, nothing. But the God of abundance stepped in. And when he stepped in, there was an abundance. Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gates of Samaria. In Nigeria there shall be an abundance Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As many countries where there is war, there is strife, and people are hungry, there shall be an abundance Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The studio line to call 070 is the studio line to call. Another studio line to call is 90 5 one seven zero nine zero one eight four two five five one seven we want to hear from you your comments your contribution your questions if any on this topic or on any other topic your testimonies call these numbers zero nine zero one eight four two five five one seven zero seven zero five zero eight six thirty nine 39. Don't forget our marketing line 090 24 20 44 15. Are you out there and you put your hope in man? You said that oh my help is only in man, is only man that can help me, is only man that can do this. You may say this short prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin, have mercy on me. Forgive my depending on man. Show me the way forward. Show me the way forward. 
send help to me. This is not to say that you can't receive help from human beings. You can. But let it be God-directed. Father, we lift up all of our hearers before you as a point of contact for every Nigerian, Nigerian and everyone out there, your children all over the world. Father, we are in perilous times, difficult times. We want to say thank you because you make a way for everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. If you said that prayer, your sins are forgiven. Get a Bible, get a daily devotional, and see the God of abundance visit you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Mrs. Magdalene Osada is in the house. Pastor Magdalene, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon ma. Happy Sunday to you and all our fans over there. God bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I want to briefly share with us uh, from the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, which I quickly term, uh, term as a, a divine, uh, divine warning, divine warning for me and for you over there. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, chapter 10, from verse 1, it says, Moreover, brethren, I will not that ye should be ignorant, how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meats. Verse 4, And did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that, that followed them. And that rock was Christ. In verse 5, he said, But with many of them God was not well pleased. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now, these things were our examples to the intent we should not lust after evil things. Just what as mommy has been teaching us, giving us an advice, counsel, warning. That we should not lust after evil things. We should not be destructive. We should not do anything contrary to the will of God. In whatever the, whatever situation that is happening, we know that is very things are very very. Uh, uh, so uh, the situation is is so pleasant. Let me use that word to us for it. The situation we find ourselves is very very pleasant please let's handle it with patience let us endure let us uh, let us not be uh, ignorance above all this let us not be uh, an ignorance of the grace of god it is the grace of god that is sustaining me and you and the whole nation and not only our nation in law the whole nation the, the nations of the world it, uh, it is the grace of god so let us not take the grace of god for granted so let us not be an ignorance of the grace of God, that is the grace of God that is sustaining each and every one of us, and we should not, uh, uh, we uh, we should not go ahead to do anything evil that will provoke the anger of God upon our lives as an individual, as a family, as a as a nation. He said we should not do evil things as they also uh, uh, as they did in the in the days of old. They were not able to endure it. And that is why the Bible says uh, in verse 5, it says, but with many, with many of them, that God was not well pleased. So how, and this situation we find ourselves, how is God seeing us? Is God pleased with us, with the way we are handling it? Or oh, God is not, is, not, uh, is not pleased with it? So let each and every one of us examine ourselves. How are we handling this uh, situation? Is God happy with it? Is God pleased with, uh, with it? If we discover that God is not, uh, is not pleased with the way we are handling it, please, let's, uh, let us change our mindset. Let's change our mentality. I believe that is what mommy is telling us this, uh, 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 this hour of the day. Let us not go uh, in the way of destruction, destroying uh, uh, government property, hijacking the, the vehicle, the, the full stuff. All these things, if we can be patient enough if we can endure, if we can make our way right with our with the Almighty God who created the universe out of nothing. If we can go to Him in prayer to sincerely 
ask for his mercy upon us and then ask him for the uh, uh, for a way forward he will ever be ready to forgive us he will ever be ready to to show us the way forward he will ever be ready to make us to overcome all these uh, trials and temptation we find ourselves and then at the end he will be pleased with us in verse 6 he said now now these things were our example to the intent we should not lost after evil things as they also lusted. So all this is whatever we are passing through today, it is not new. It has happened before and it's still happening now. So how do those people, the, the Bible tells us that with many of them that God was not well pleased. So if we want God to be pleased with us, if we want God to intervene, if we want God to fight our battle, if we want God to make us to smile again, if we want our economy to be revived and be restored and be renewed, if we want abundance in our land, let's make our way right with God. Let's make God to be pleased. Let's make God to be happy. Let us please God in all our way, in all our action, in all our decision, in all our thinking, in all our imagination. Let God no longer look at us and shake his head and say, I regret his ma in making this men, this women, these children in my image. In fact, I want to I want to wipe them away from the surface of the earth. May that not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. May God not look at us and shake his head for for uh, and there uh, and regret in making us in the mighty name of Jesus mm. Christ. In verse 7, we say, Neither be ye idolaters, as we are some of them. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Let us not take God for granted. Let us not become idolat idolaters. Let us not worship any other God. He's the Almighty God that created the heavens and the earth, the one that has solution. To, to, to the problems of the whole world. The one that had the answers to every problem. All the why, 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 why. I think mommy taught us two weeks ago about so many why, why, why. Almighty God had the answer to all our why, why, why. So let us be patient. He will give us an answer. As we examine ourselves, as we make our way that with him, as we turn a new leaf to begin to do what is pleasing to him, what is right at any point in time.